right, National Puppy Day, not just about looking at the adorable pups on your screen, although it is a big part of it. Well, you could spend all day on that live You could. Game. You could do it. But it's also a time to recognize our local animal shelters. So this morning on Second Chance, we're taking the Puppy Day celebrations to our friends at the Humane Society of Southwest Washington. Emma Jerome has the world's best job this morning. She's been hanging out with Sam Ellingson uh, at their facility in Vancouver as they introduce us to some young furry friends looking for their home. Emma? Yeah, we don't got a second chance pet. We got six second chance pets all looking for their homes. They are just, they have been up and at them with us since about five this morning. And if you'll believe it, this is them calm right now. They are just the cutest. And I'm joined here by Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Sam, good morning. Introduce us to our second chance friends yeah, this morning. Absolutely. So, I, I, you know, I couldn't remember their names even if I tried, <laughs> especially since we've been up since, since five this morning. But these are six, six remaining of a litter of ten okay. puppies that arrived here a couple, uh, couple weeks ago. And they are they're, they're sort of mystery mixes for us, right? So they came to us from one of our shelter partners, Best Friends Animal Society in Utah. And... Um, we don't know a lot about their background, but we know that they came here looking for a new home. And they are all part of the same litter, but they have such different personalities. You've got yeah. tiny little Pipsqueak right here, mm -hmm. who's so sweet until he needs to assert his dominance. And then yep. we got Big Fat Brownie, who is just a big tank. So talk about, you know, what it means to connect with a puppy. We talked about a little bit in the last hour about how to know which puppy's right for you. So yeah. let's talk about that how do you really decide that it's time for your family to do the massive undertaking which is adopt a puppy yeah right so you know if we if we use these guys as an example so if we have families out there who are interested in adopting one of these puppies they're going to come in they'd have a chance to meet them so whoever's left uh, of this litter they'll sort of meet all of them really at once um, and they'll be able to pick out the two or three they think might be the best fit for them they get a chance to meet them, hang out, the whole family comes in, says hi to the puppies and make sure everybody's okay. And once they're ready to adopt, then they can take them home the same day. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as knowing which one is right for you, it's really about personality. You know, I think like most, <laughs> like most pets, when, when you meet them, you sort of know, right? You, right? you know when they're the right fit for you. Right, absolutely. And it's, like I said, they all have such different personalities. This one's trying to dig a hole to China because, yep. you know, he's been in here a little bit too long. <laughs> Let's talk about National Puppy Day at a humane society, at a shelter. Why is it so special, so important to give these animals their second chance? Yeah. Well, this is a really, this is a really great puppy day for us because it's, it's rare for us to have this many puppies. So at the start of this week, you know, we had maybe just over 20 puppies staying with us. And that is really uncommon. When we have puppies here, we might see two or three puppies at the same time, three or four. Uh, but we had this large transport of puppies coming in from best friends um, and then a few more puppies coming in from our community. And so for them, you know, this really is their second chance. Mm -hmm. these, these are animals who didn't have a family looking after them. In many cases, uh, depending on whatever the circumstances were with, with their mom, they maybe didn't have a mom taking care of them. So it truly is life-saving work. National Puppy Day is celebrating that work, celebrating these opportunities that we have to help these animals find that loving home. And of course, every dog is a forever puppy. We've got so many other animals here looking for great homes. They can all be found, the adoptable ones, these six and all the other ones that can get homes at hssw.org. You can also come in here starting at noon and you can get your arm bit off by <laughs> all of them if, all you, if you must. So. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. The little one screams. Get the little one, yeah. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Puppy rumble. I would, I would gladly be a chew toy. Uh, oh my gosh. Any of any these, these puppies. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. They, oh, thanks, it's, Emma. The cuteness overload is just out of, out of this world. Sam's over here talking about giving them a second chance. I want to take them all home. Oh, Sam, man. you're trying to make me adopt them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If you want to meet any of these pops up for adoption, of course, you can check out their website anytime. It's hssw.org. I mean, 